Okay, okay, so I made this video that you're watching here before the Teen Titans Go movie came out. So I did not see the post credit scene. But here's what I will say about it because I know a lot of people want me to comment about it. If you don't want to support the show because you think that this might be a scam or you don't like the manipulative practices, that's perfectly fine. There's a lot of people in the community who are not supporting the movie and continue to not support the movie even if a promised season six is behind the door of supporting it. The only reason I went to watch the movie is because not only am I a fan of the show already, but I did promise you guys in my everything you need to know about the movie that I was going to cover the movie I still think the movie is worth watching spoiler alert and I don't necessarily bring up this point in this video So if you're wondering why I never bring up this point that is why proceed with the video <laughs> Yes, Beast Boy, that's how it ends. Teen Titans last episode aired January 16th, 2006. The exact reason has and still is for the most part unknown, but there are a lot of rumors and quotes from the staff that haven't been confirmed to be the true reason. One rumor goes that the executive did not like the pitch for the sixth season, citing the show's creative turn proving to be too scary and thus harmful to ratings. Other staff members swear that a sixth season was not even planned. Another rumor was that the toy license for Teen Titans was under Bandai, direct competitor of Hasbro and Mattel. And due to Mattel wanting to be the master toy licensee, which conveniently they were the year Teen Titans was cancelled, they contributed somehow to the show's cancellation. Another rumor was that the show became too financially unsustainable, whether being too expensive to upkeep or the ratings not compensating the production of the show. There are several other smaller rumors like fighting within the staff, the demographic being away from what Cartoon Network's interest was at the time, and a conflict between Warner Bros and Cartoon Network. I don't really cling to any of the rumors 100%, and with big projects, it's usually more than one reason. But whatever the reason is, the show was cancelled only to resurface in HD in 2017. It was a very interesting thing to see and it led me to this question. Would I revive Teen Titans? Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Seriously, can someone get this giant elephant out of the room while I record? This is a giant elephant in here. <sighs> it's been in here all day, but we can't address a new season of Teen Titans without talking about Teen Titans Go. Right now, it's in a new season with a movie under its belt. I think it would be incredibly weird to have two teams working on Teen Titans related content. I know one would bring up that Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go were on TV on the same day for a while. But as far as the original, that content is already done, so it doesn't cost Cartoon Network or Warner Bros as much as making a whole new season. Not only that, but the creation philosophy of both shows is drastically different, whereas Teen Titans would only put out 13 episodes per season, revolving around a character specific arc. Teen Titans Go generally puts out 52 episodes, about primarily episodic, and from what I've seen from Cartoon Network, Teen Titans' creative philosophy wouldn't gel well with the new and now style of presenting a ton of episodes in a short amount of time. I know this may get hate, but I do think Teen Titans Go would outshine Teen Titans because of the times. There will be children who will watch both, primarily thanks to the strong character presence of Teen Titans Go. You know the five characters very well, regardless of the quality of their actions, but the jarring difference between both shows would honestly hurt Teen Titans a lot more than it would hurt Teen Titans Go. Also, splitting an audience in half to be dedicated to two shows at once seems like it wouldn't make too much sense financially. Thinking as a person in charge of programming, Teen Titans even as a show on the schedule seems out of place considering the amount of action shows that air frequently on Cartoon Network. And by action, I mean superheroes, which you would say is pretty much no show. It could air on Boomerang, you'd say, but but I don't believe they'd put in the amount of time and money for such a revival just to shaft 13 episodes of Boomerang. Usually when shows premiere on Boomerang, it's because of the fact that it just wouldn't do that well on the main channel. And I think Teen Titans is in that gray area of maybe it will, it maybe it won't. But because of the reboot pretty much dominating the network, I don't think Teen Titans would thrive in that competition. I think that some people in their head, if they air Teen Titans, kids will just all switch to that one show. Well one, no, because airing a season 6 out of nowhere is already incredibly insane, but all of these kids would have to get caught up by watching a lot of episodes, including a movie, in addition to any other shows they like, and considering how Cartoon Network has treated regular show, Adventure Time, and Steven Universe in the past, shows that have intricate stories in their later seasons, it seems like they're just gonna drop the ball on creating any true interest in the show, hyping up this last season. So as you can probably infer from my tone of voice, that because of Teen Titans Go, airing Teen Titans under that show, with how they treat the reboot, 
would hurt the original more than the reboot. But let's consider the demand for the show. I am well aware of the social media presence of those who wish to reboot or revive Teen Titans, and I'm sure that you know as well. I couldn't find any direct ratings for airing Teen Titans again in 2017, but considering some of those times were as early as 6 a.m., they couldn't have been that impressive. However, since I can't prove that for scenario's sake, let's say they were above average. Somehow, you got your things were better back in my day demographic to give Cartoon Network another shot, and Teen Titans actually plays well against other shows. Well, what does that say about the demand of action shows in general? When it comes to both the fans and how Cartoon Network approves new shows. Well, one can look at Thundercats Roar, a reboot coming out soon that I did talk about. That show, although focusing on action, appears to be going the OKKO OK or Teen Titans Go sort of action, but very fun, very wacky sort of route that appeals to a certain demographic. Considering other action shows, it's not necessarily what I would consider to be a gesture by Cartoon Network that they are being serious and taking action shows seriously. Teen Titans is a funny show, it had a lot of fun moments, but it also had a lot of serious moments that weren't serious for the sake of being serious. I actually pulled up the 2017 ratings by Nick and Moore, a guy you guys should follow. When it comes to Cartoon Network and stretching action shows to its broadest term, shows like Ninjago, Justice League Action, Transformers, Pokemon, and Nexo Knight seem to be towards the bottom of the list. Even considering the new Ben 10 to be a part of what I'm defining to be action shows, it ties with a dying adventure time, at least when it comes to 2017. From what this shows me, it's a combination of Cartoon Network not prioritizing action shows, but also people don't really look out for them. If we are to assume that a continuation of Teen Titans would focus on action more than comedy, then we must also look at the landscape of shows that do so, and shows that do so don't do well. We can throw in variables such as Cartoon Network heavily pushing for a demographic that very well just could not be interested in action shows, or maybe Cartoon Network has mismanaged the times of all of these shows, pushing them to unreasonable times if the goal was to grow a loyal audience, or that Cartoon Network focuses on toys, merchandise, app sales, and those shows just not proving to be very successful in helping Cartoon Network's profit margin. Whatever variables you think justify the low numbers aside, we should also talk about Bandai. If they still own the rights to toy licensing for Teen Titans, then it wouldn't be in Cartoon Network's best interest to bring up what may have helped kill the last season. Since there is no recent info on that, let's move on. The last point I want to touch on is content. If we are to assume that Teen Titans would do well against Teen Titans Go, and we are to assume that there actually is an incredible demand for action shows, then what would season 6 offer? I would assume it would be 13 episodes, and considering that everyone has had an arc, what would be in this final season? Would it show them moving on? Or would it be a giant in battle between the five, which eventually and ultimately ends up in them being closer? If you don't remember from the last episode of season five, Beast Boy was seen going to help the other Titans who were fighting an unknown creature. I wouldn't imagine the entire season being all about that. Would it be about Slade and Terror? Or more controversially, would it break the fourth wall and lead to some mind-blowing connection between how Teen Titans turns into Teen Titans Go? Considering that we have Michael telling us that he can almost guarantee that the original series is coming back, and considering what he has done on Teen Titans Go, I wouldn't put it past him to do that with this season. Considering that Teen Titans Go sells well, it looks good for the entire franchise, in addition to the reboot. So I do believe him at his word. Also because he has worked on other shows like Thundercats 2011, it makes me think he wouldn't completely trash Teen Titans, and that he can see Go and the original in their own separate creation methods and what they stand for. There is a lot of other areas to explore when it comes to what a last season would do and I wouldn't limit it to essentially more of what we already have seen. But seeing all these points, it has led me to my verdict. Would I revive Teen Titans? Not now. But yes, I think any time near Teen Titans Go at this point is pretty bad, unless they have a plan. Cartoon Network has a certain way they treat action shows, but granted, maybe they will care about this one because it is attached to a franchise they care about. Like with the Ben 10 reboot. I just wouldn't revive it anytime soon because I want the best for this last season. It would provide closure to a lot of fans and show what big support can do for the franchises we love. Would you revive the show? Let me know in the comments down below. Special thanks to the patrons that support me in the month of July. My social media and video for requests is in the description below and until next time, Alpha out.